Hello everyone, my name is Ian. I'm a software engineer and I've been a contributor to the Singularity Container project since 2018. This talk is about the current ways users distribute Singularity containers and where we would like to see container distribution go in the future. For a bit of context, when Singularity containers are built, they're stored in the file system as a Singularity image format, or CIF, file. Since these images are just a file, it becomes easy to share and move them with common tooling. This can be done with a local copy like we see here with the copy command, or we can move it across machines with any tool that migrates files. Here we have a secure copy command that moves the image to an example computing cluster. This is a common workflow for many researchers. They develop and test an application in a local development environment, package it into a container, and then move it over to whatever compute resource they want to run it on. In typical HPC usage, file system locations like slash home are shared file systems that are accessible to all compute nodes. This model is a primary reason why Singularity uses a single file image format is very efficient for shared storage. This makes storing and using container images at these locations a common practice in HPC systems because it lets you transparently distribute images across the entire cluster. While this satisfies many use cases, application authors still need services to host their containers to allow for effective distribution to interested users. For this purpose, there are several ways to distribute Singularity images. The Singularity Container Library, maintained by Scilabs, allows users to sign in with a Google, GitHub, GitLab, or Microsoft account. Each user can then create and manage collections of containers. It also gives the possibility for users to build an image through their web interface by providing a build definition file. Users need to generate an access token in order to modify their collections within the service. Here we can see how we can configure the Singularity command line to register an alt token with the remote command group, and then push an image to their collection with the push command. Another option is to use Singularity Hub, which is maintained by Vanessa Socha of Stanford University. Singularity Hub provides a build mechanism similar to Docker Hub by leveraging Git webhooks. The user can sign in with their GitHub account and choose a Git repository that they want to generate an image from. In order to trigger an image build, the Git repository must contain a build definition file named Singularity, which will be detected and used by the Singularity Hub builder each time a change is pushed to the default branch. Once the build succeeds, the image can then be pulled. Here we can see the command we would use to pull an image using the Singularity Hub URI scheme. It's important to note that generated images are actually the Singularity version 2 format and not SIF, which was introduced in version 3. ORAS, which stands for OCI Registry of Storage, is another option that allows users to host and distribute Singularity images through an OCI registry. ORAS implements something called the OCI Artifact Specification. This spec is extending the use of OCI registries from only storing images and their metadata to arbitrary blob storage. There are many artifacts that revolve around the container ecosystem which can take advantage of the OCI registries for storage and distribution. This includes things like cloud native application bundles, Helm charts, and SIF images. The Singularity team was involved in the validation process of ORAS back in the summer of last year. So Singularity has been able to push SIF images to compliant OCI registries for about a year now. Generally, these OCI registries work the same as Docker registries in terms of authentication. So we can see here how we can pass user credentials to Singularity through the same environment variables used for a Docker registry. With this push command, Singularity will parse the content of these environment variables, authenticate with the registry, and then go ahead and push the image to the registry. Once pushed, we can pull and run this container without needing to perform intermediate build steps behind the scenes like we would for other OCI image sources, since this image is already in the SIF format. Microsoft spearheaded the OCI Artifacts Initiative and open sourced the ORAS project to foster adoption. So obviously the Azure Container Registry has complete support for OCI artifacts and their storage through ORAS. Initially, the only other registry that could support OCI artifacts was the Docker Distribution Registry project. This isn't officially supported by the project to my knowledge, but it works well when testing against a local deployment. Last month, the Harbor Container Registry project released its version 2.0. This release came with the introduction of support for OCI artifacts within the registry. This is really exciting news for us as a project, and I hope we see more registries follow suit and implement this standard as well. Alongside the distribution of images comes the need to distribute keys used to sign SIF images. In order to encourage container signing as a best practice, Singularity doesn't allow users to push unsigned images by default. Users must sign their images or pass an additional flag. Singularity uses OpenPGP keys under the hood to sign images and provides a key command group to keep key management easy for users. This lets you create, import, or export keys locally or through remote key stores. Singularity uses the Scilabs key store as its default when pushing or pulling keys. So we can push to or pull from that key store easily with these commands that use a key fingerprint. 
but it's also possible to use any HKP server or SKS pool as remote key stores. At the bottom, we can see that we can simply pass the URL flag to specify the remote key store we want to interact with. In this case, I'm using a well-known public SKS pool. When we download an image locally through whatever preferred mechanism, we should check it for signatures and ensure that those signatures are valid. In other words, that the image contents has not changed at all since it was signed by the image creator. We can use the verify command to check signatures found in an image against our local key ring as well as against the default key store. In the case of this particular image, Singularity cannot find the public key used to sign the image in my local key ring or the default key store. This key is actually stored within a public SKS pool, so I can use the key search command to find the right key from the fingerprint. Then I can go ahead and download it to my local key ring with the pull command for use during image verification. Singularity works on the assumption that keys within the local key ring are from entities that should be trusted. So make sure to consider that before pulling a key into your key ring. If I rerun the verify command, it will exit without an error and indicate that the verification was successful. The Cloud Native Computing Foundation's Notary project, also known as Notary v2 in reference to Docker's existing notary offering, has a goal of producing an open standard for container image signing and making the practice commonplace within the OCI community. This will allow end users to verify the contents being pulled from OCI registries in a similar manner as we had demonstrated with Singularity and the Verify command. Many users of Singularity use Docker Hub images directly or as a base to build more complex images off of. We want to be able to ensure that the image content downloaded from OCI sources can be verified and trusted in the same way as we can with our native SIF images. So we're watching this project closely and hoping to add an integration within Singularity once the project has released a stable specification. The state of the project is relatively young. Discussions started in January of this year, and work to decide on a design and create proof of concept implementations are still in progress. So if you're interested in learning more about this project, you should check out the Notary V2 channel and the Cloud Native Computing Foundation Slack. Singularity has made it a priority to support all known community standards for distribution of containers. Currently, we're completely compatible with all known registries and standard distribution methods for consuming container images. In other words, you can use virtually any image source to create a Singularity container. On top of that, we're seeing new community standards emerge to enable us to encapsulate our native images within a standardized format for distribution throughout the OCI community. Recently, Singularity has been moved into a bigger community project called HPCNG on GitHub. HPCNG stands for the next generation of high-performance computing, and this is a community focused on collaboration, developing projects, and modernization of both traditional HPC and enterprise computing needs. If you're interested, please check out the GitHub or join our Slack. Thank you.